and I'm back with another part of Final Fantasy VI, and here's our good old friend, the worker of the castle, the surface, which means you get to breathe again, my old friend. Okay, we come out on the right side, it seems, but we can just easily talk to this guy and go to the other side. So, let's go to Kolin again. Kolingen, something like that. Kolingen. Kolingen. Which I believe is the top left hand corner, yeah. So we've reached the top left corner map. Of the map. But to be fairly honest, that is not the town we really want to go to at the moment. We want to make our way to a different town. But we will go and have a look in the towns here, see what's around. I'm also quickly going to do a little uh, checking around of the equipments. Just to, you know, make sure that everyone's equipped it good. So, uh... I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be right back. Now that everyone's equipped it as I want them to be, let's make our way towards our first town up in this... <sighs> Silly battles. Now, I think it would have been wise for me to... There's an enemy that keeps popping up a lot around here. And it's really, really weird. Because, hopefully this is it. Yeah, there's two of them here. These mooses here, randomly they seem to heal me. Like, they're attacking me. Like that, what he did there, he instantly gave his friend HP. And he kept doing that to me in a battle. It's really peculiar. I don't even know why. It's like he got close to death and decided, Hell, I'm going to help you out. Just because you are the protagonist, you get the helping hand. Here, have some free HP. Oh, thanks man. Uh, don't know why you're going to do that for me. I didn't do anything. Yeah, see, he did it right there. Don't even know why he did it, but he did. Helpful, helpful. Saves me having to use cure magic at the very least. And we're getting level. Alright, let's see what's in this place here. What's that? It looks like... Graves? Ah, I know where this is. We will be back here shortly. But for now, let's move on. Could have at least taken me out on the bloody bottom. Ugh, this is going to be frustrating. Oh, there we go. Right, anyway, I'm going to make my way to the next town by myself, so I'll see you then. Alright, we've made it here. And uh, this place would be familiar to... Locke, actually. Uh, because this is where he came from, sort of. I think. Something like that. But he was in love with a weapon called an Itchy Geki. What? Whatever. Hmm. Oh yeah, the thing to the north. I'm not interested in that place yet. I say yet, because it will come important later. We need to get an item, a few items actually, to be fairly honest, before we go up there. Now let's see what we've got in here. I have one of them. Diamond Helm, which I could give to someone, I suppose. Uh, I could use a Diamond Shield, I suppose. I can give that to... Uh, good old Edgar. Woohoo, he's got the Diamond set going here. How about you? What are you selling? What are you buying, mate? Huh, I thought I had more guild than that. That's really weird. Dice, darts, and viper darts. Okay, I'm going to buy some Viper Darts here because they will be important soon. Not for plot related things, but you will see soon enough. I guess. Let's see what's in here. Items I may steal. Nope, no items I may steal. So backing out of the door. <sighs> it's the NPC problem all over again. <laughs> and they don't seem to do what they do in some other games where if you walk into them enough, they'll quickly try to scamper out your way. Okay, here's the special house. Now, I'm not going to go into details here, so I'm just going to leave. We'll come back here eventually, though, so do not worry your pretty little heads. Ooh, look who it is! It's our disillusioned friend, Setsa! Sup, my friend? See, he's got the same thing with Tep, that... 
that Terra has. He doesn't have the feel for it anymore. However, Celis quickly brings him back into the fold. That was then, I'm gonna choose a gun now. Dream my dream with me. I said it a few videos ago, but I still don't know what my dream is. See, sets are so easy to bring back into the fold compared to Terra. He just, he's just like, wait, you wanna dream it with me? Let's make a dream and then we will go make something out of it. Yeah, let's do this. So we gain our new party member, who is completely devoid of magic right now, so I'm thinking... Oh, it'll lead you to where you've got to go now. But we've already been there, so I don't really need leading. Yeah, I went to the wrong place first, to be fairly honest. But, as I said, we do need to come here. And this place is very wide in traverse, so I'm probably going to end off as soon as I get there. Just to, you know, uh, make sure that the next video is not too long. This video will probably be, in turn, very short. But let's equip the good old sets with some stuff. Viper darts, golden shield, green beret, and golden armor. And as for a good old Esper, let's see what I got for you, my friend. Banish. No. I'm thinking... Yeah, this will do. Carbuncle. <sighs> Sorry, lads. Didn't mean to skip out on you. But I uh, decided to make this a little quicker just by, you know, skipping ahead. <laughs> Must have been some lady. Like, monsters? Uh, we love monsters, don't we, people? Like, I know I said I was gonna cut this video off here, but I'm gonna actually proceed into the thing a bit. Have a look around, you know, do that on malarkey. Set over here first. Now, I'm gonna be fairly honest, this place has always confused me, so I'm gonna have no idea what I need to do. What's in here? Okay, I think I've encountered one of my first problems with this place. The very nasty Marlboros are in this place. Now, if you've ever played a Final Fantasy game, you'll probably know what a Marlboro is and what they can do to you. Luckily, it didn't do it to me. Maybe because the Marlboros aren't like in other games where they'll instantly spam their bad breath attack and completely wipe you the fuck out. The tombstone is blank. Carve something into it. Nothing appropriate comes to mind. Well, if I remember correctly, I know what goes on there. But it won't let me put it on there because I don't have any clue what it is. Now what's this? Crystal nail. Hmm, very nice. In fact, who has the crystal helm? Put it on that person. It shall be you, my dear. And in turn, I might as well equip you with the diamond vest because you can. And what's in here? Regal gown. Which will, of course, go to my good old friend here if it's possible for him. Nope. Nope. Uh, you? Well, that's really weird. Who the hell can equip that? Sword. Who in the bloody hell can equip that? I get the feeling that is an unequipable thing. Regal. Duh. Women. So it would most likely go on Celis. But I don't want to put it on Celis. This bit's making me think puzzle. Ah. ah, I see what i got to do here. Open, drain the water beforehand, open that up. This bit isn't as confusing as I thought it was. That's not to say that this place isn't confusing, I'm just finding it a lot less confusing than I remember it being. Makes sense? Good. Alright, now we've got to make our way back into that water room. Isn't it nice trying to do a battle with the, all these long in this long-winded dungeon with all these battles popping up every two seconds. Note to self, don't try being a weak-looking monster with death weapons on. 
Crikey. You know, I really think the drill would be a more appropriate insta-kill weapon than, uh... Oh, I can't seem to drain it from here. Oh, it must, it must be the other one. Yeah, the drill would be a more appropriate insta-weapon than the, dr the chainsaw would be, if you ask me, because I doubt many people would enjoy an amateur lobotomy. But maybe that's just me. I don't like holes in my head for one person. Uh, maybe if it's your thing, it's your thing. Oh, Genji Helm. Now, Genji Helm, Genji Helm. Hmm. I think I will equip that. Nah, no, fuck that. I'll just equip that to you because you get no negative effects from it. And in turn, you get the Crystal Helm. Aren't you a lucky man? The problem is now is that I have completely no idea where I gotta go. Oh, there's that middle path. Honestly, I really do despise when there's way too many battles in this game. Every dungeon seems to have a massively high encounter rate. And I'm assuming this will bring it back up, which means... Wait, what's down here? Oh, trying to trick me, game? Well, tricks are for kids. Letters have been carved here. Letters have been carved here. Right, I'm back here. Uh, let's see what this says. The world is square. I have hidden the growth edit in the side of the room in the side room on the third basement level. Interesting. This gives you a clue onto where to get the growth egg, which is incredibly useful if you want to level up your characters, as it doubles any experience gain. So if you're trying to level up a character to level 100, get a growth egg, do it that way. Now I'm not sure if it's on this part of the level or if I have to continue to get it, but I'm going to continue anyway, regardless of whether I get it or not, because I'm not planning on doing any or much grinding. Also I'm going to say now, if the video seems a bit inconsistent back there, my fault. I'm a bit tired, I may have messed it up by myself. Oh, save point there. Ah, and why? So, I'm going to quickly save up here, even though my saves aren't See, it's still from back in the world of balance, even though I swear I saved it. But yeah, I'm going to kind of quickly save slate it, because I really don't want to mess this up. A quick heal would have been nice before doing this. Tint it up. Blim, blim. And let's open that chest. Monster in the box. Right, we get a little mini boss here. The Angler Welk. Now, this thing is very similar to the monster we encountered in the first uh, part of the game. You remember the one. The actual first boss of the game. Now, you have to be very careful here because at any second he can draw his head back in, and if he draws his head back in, it's going to hurt because he's going to use the Gigavolt attack on you. If he uses the Gigavolt attack on you, oh, there he goes, which means you're going to see it anyway because I didn't get a chance to, to put out a firer, so I better get ready for the counter. That doesn't seem to want to come. Oh, it must be because it was aimed at his head. Okay, I guess the game's being nice to me. Don't know why the game usually isn't this nice to me. Oh, it will still attack you. As you can see here. <laughs> but that's crazy fool saving. Sucks it up, like... 
well, like something that sucks, I suppose. Now, I'm not sh sure how to get him back out, actually. I think you um, have to wait or maybe attack, I'm not sure. Oh, wait, if you attack, he's gonna gigavolt you, so don't. <laughs> What was I thinking? Silly Ivory, silly Ivory. You don't attack him, he attacks you. Now, I think if a certain amount of damage is given, you can destroy that shell. But I wouldn't suggest using it. In fact, I'd highly recommend against it unless you're stupidly high leveled. Uh, might as well take this chance to cure again because this is going to hurt probably. Wow, seriously? <laughs> wow, I did not know insta death worked there. I guess insta kill in the shell, insta kills the monster inside. Oh, well, that's interesting. That was an incredibly easy battle for what should have been a hard battle. Learned regain and obtain the Dragon Claws, which is an amazing item to give to Saban. Right, I'm going to quickly check up on everything, so I'll be right back. Now, I was taking a look around, and if you will shift your eyes to the right a little, you'll notice that there is a room here. Hello, treasure chest. I found the growth egg. So, yeah, I wanted to show you where the growth egg, and if I can just make my way out of the room... Ah, I'm trapped! Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to make my way back, so be right back. Now, while I made my way back here, I was thinking of something. Why is it that nobody's tried to keep this place in check? I mean, seriously. There's undead monsters, which is understandable, everywhere. Even, and there's even Marlboros, to be fairly honest. It just seems a little stupid that these monsters are here. I mean, wouldn't somebody come out and clear them out? But maybe this world doesn't work like it does in this one. Man eater. Now, I don't... I don't think... It'd be very wise to equip that to anyone on my party at the moment. But it would probably work well on Celis. Haha, <laughs> Badum Tish. Wow, it would actually. It would actually do quite well on her. Fair enough. Anyway, I'm going to leave it off here for now because uh, there's a boss battle in a second and this video is getting quite long. So, until next time, my friends, this is Sari going away.